Now, let's do some data analysis, with the data we just collected. We have the rates of reaction, from three sets of trials, and their concentrations. If we compare trials 1 and 2, the concentration of the iron 3 plus ions, remain the same. But the concentrations, of the iodide ions in the second trial, is half that of the first one. Hence, if there is a change in rate, it has to be due to this change in concentration of iodide ions. If we compare, trials 1 and 3, the concentrations of the iodide ions, remains the same, but the concentrations of iron 3 plus ions in trial 3, is half that of trial 1. Now let's determine the order of the iodide ions. For that, we will pick trials 1 and 2. The ratio of rates of trial 1 and 2 is equal to 1.976, we can round this to the next whole number, which is 2. The ratio of the concentrations, of the iodide ions, from trials 1 and 2 is equal to, 2 to the power of x. Solving for x, using logarithms. We determine the value to be equal to 1. Or the order of the reaction with respect to iodide ions is equal to 1. To determine, the order of Fe3 plus ions, we will compare trials 1 and 3. The concentrations of the iodide ions, are the same for these two trials. Hence, it will not have an effect, on the rate of the reaction. The concentration of Fe3 plus ions, in the third trial, is half that of the first. If there is a change in rate, it indicates that, this reactant has an effect on the rate of the reaction. But as evidenced, from the data, the ratio of the rates is equal to 1.19, or we can round it to the next whole number which is 1. Which implies, that a change in concentration of Fe3 plus ions, has no effect on the rate of this reaction. We may safely assume, that the order of this reactant is zero. This can further be validated using calculations involving logarithms. From the data collected, we can conclude that this reaction is, first order with respect to the iodide ions, and zero order with respect to the iron 3 plus ions. Or the overall order of this reaction is 1. Therefore, this is a first order reaction.